video goes through some advanced functionality in the counter option sets feature. It is assumed that you've watched the option sets basics video as some of the content that is covered in that video isn't recovered in this video. The first thing we're going to do is tour a very simple menu that has option sets already set up. Then we're going to jump into back office and show you how to set up option sets on option sets with the original menu that you already have with your option sets that may already be up and running. Um, for an example of a set menu context. First thing we're going to do is uh, jump on in and have a bit of a look at some of these option sets. Um, under starters here, we've got a fish soup with a bread roll option set. So you can see here, we've got the fish soup product and the bread roll is the modifier there as the option. In the mains, we have steak Diane. You can see we've got our steak temp option set. So I have to select one of these options. And then I've got source options, so I can select one or many. They're all included in the price and then hit save there. In my dessert, I've just got regular products there. And then for my wine, I just have regular products for bottle and glass of wine, uh, each which has been set at a different price. So if we jump into back office now to create our set menu, it's going to hold this order here. And we go into our product section. We can see all of our option sets and products are all present in our products list. We go into option sets. We can see in our option sets menu here, some of the option sets that are set up. So your bread roll option for that soup that we saw, the steak sauce option for which sauce goes uh, that you've selected for the steak. And then the steak temp option here as well. We can see those are already set up. Now to create our set menu, we'll have to create a product for that set menu. So I will call it set menu one. I'll add it to a set menus category. I'm going to give it a price of $120. Now what we can do is we can go into option sets and we can build out an option set for course selection. So products with option sets, I'll find my set menu here and then I'll add option sets and I've got my starters, main, dessert and wine option sets there. Now that I've added these, as I can do with all option sets, I can rearrange them so the starter needs to be selected first then the main, then the wine, followed by the dessert. Now in each of these option sets, if we go to our option sets menu here, we have products that may contain option sets themselves. So our dessert here are just those two normal products that we saw on the point of sale. Our mains, we have steak Diane, which has option sets on it of steak temperature and sauce, and those will be present in this option sets selection. So you'll have to select the course, then you'll have to select the main, and then you'll have to select options on that main, but it's a very guided process. So your staff can't forget to put a main in for a set menu. They can't select, forget to select a source with the steak if they need to. Um, and the steak temperature, they'll always remember because it's a mandatory option within that option set. So now that we've added all of that, we'll go back to the point of sale and see how all of this looks. So here you can see our set menus category has appeared. We've got our set menu product, which is an option set. So we select set menu one, which is $120. And then we add our fish soup here with the bread roll. Then we add our steak Diane, which is medium rare. And our customer may want mustard on the side. So we select on the side and mustard. And then save. And then we have a glass of wine, and you'll see in this context, a glass of wine is zero dollars. But if we wanted to upgrade that to a bottle of wine in this option, you can see that a bottle of wine is thirty dollars there. So it adds to the price. Um, a bottle of wine normally would be forty-five, and it's just taking into account the difference between the bottle and the glass when I set that option set up. So any product within an option set can be set up at its complete own price based around the option set. And then in our dessert section here, we'll add creme brulee. And you can see that set menu has been added with all of the options, the fish soup, steak Diane, red wine, creme brulee. Now if we go and we add another one with baked sour cherries, our penne pesca, uh, maybe a, a glass of wine there as well, and we'll choose our creme brulee for dessert, you can see it's been added as a completely separate option set with a line in the middle. So it's very easy to keep track of these more complex ordering scenarios like set menus or degustation menus or combo ordering and deals and things like that. Um, and it also shows you that within a single product of the set menu here, we can have another product like fish soup with options on it. 
so you can go quite deep into the options forced for your staff to select. Now we're going to head into back office now as there's a couple of things we need to note while setting up more advanced option sets like this. The first thing that's incredibly important is that you can only assign an option set to a product and not a modifier. So within each product we've got our sour baked cherries here as an example. You can see that this product is make this product a modifier? No. So it's not a modifier. If we were to make this product a modifier, we would not be able to assign option sets to it. That is extremely important. Um, so when you're doing option sets on option sets, you need to add products to option sets, not modifiers. If you add something that has never been added to counter before to an option set, like the word medium for medium rare and things like that, uh, those will be created as modifiers. So by default, you cannot assign option sets to them. You'll need to go and find those modifiers in your product list, for example, medium here, and turn them into products like this. Now products and modifiers display a little bit differently in the list, um, so try out both options. Um, if you aren't assigning option sets to that particular option, um, to see which one works best for your menu. The second thing to understand is that we can also, in each product, we go into this product here, access option sets up the top. And that takes us to the option sets tab and products with options and highlights that particular product for us um, as an alternative way of getting there. So that's a nice way to navigate while you're adding option sets to your products. And finally, if you're creating an option set to assign different pricing to certain products, say my red wine glass here, all you need to do is add a different price here or a price to that option set. If you leave it blank, it'll be a $0 option. Um, if you put a price in there, it'll be the amount added to the original product of this particular option. So in the instance of our set menu, adding that $30 bottle of wine added to that $120 set menu created a $150 set menu option set bundle. Uh, so if you wanted to do a set menu with or without wines and you're adding accompanying wines to each course, those accompanying wines could add additional cost to that particular course and therefore to the overall option set. So it's just a nice way to build out um, with those differing prices into a single option set within option set. And that rounds out our advanced tour of option sets. If you have any additional questions or uh, need any more information around option sets, please email our support team on support at counter, K-O-U-N-T-A dot com um, and they'll be happy to help out.